Beloved. I like how he addresses us that way. Beloved. You're beloved. If God so loves us like this, we also ought to love one another. Verse 12. No one has seen God at any time. All right. If we love one another, God abides in us. Now, I think about that actively. That, so I'm excited about this portion of scripture. If we love one another, God abides in us. We can actually experience the reality that God lives in us as we choose to love other people. Why? Because that requires God to be in you to actually love people the way he's called you to love them. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love has been perfected in us. By this, we know that we abide in him and he in us. This is important, right? That's basically saying this is how you know God lives in you. And if God doesn't live in you, hell will be your home and you have no living relationship with God. So I need to know how, how to know if God lives in me. By this, we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. Hold on a second. How many of you can see the Holy Spirit living in you? Now think about this. You can't see the Holy Spirit living in you with your eyes, but you can see the Holy Spirit living in you through his fruits. Let me remind you of something. They're not the fruits of you that God just gives to you. They're the fruits of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. So it's evidence, oh, God is living in me. He's living in my heart and he's actually living through me. What does Galatians chapter two said? It's no longer I who live, but Christ that lives in me. He lives in me and that's why he comes out of me. 